My name is Christopher Bergquist. I'm creative director of multiplayer down at Danger Close Games here in LA. Welcome to the beta. We're really excited to have you here and we look forward to hear all your feedback. Before we get going, here are some dev team members and gamers from the community to tell you more about what the game is all about. Enjoy the video, have fun. So a fire team is basically a two-man team that is part of a bigger team. Everyone in your team is going to be part of a fire team. And it's really well done because it's just the two of us talking. It's not eight other people screaming at each other, yelling at each other, griefing each other, trolling, or whatever it is that those other eight people like to do. When you spawn into a game, we will automatically pair you up with one. If you have a friend that you have joined with through a party system, you will be paired up with him. Uh, you will exactly know who your fighting buddy is because that's the guy with the big green silhouette around him. And one of the things I really loved was he is my ammo supply guy, my health supply guy. I don't have to run behind somebody who's not in my squad. It's just I go to him, I'm like, where are you at? I look at my mini-map, we meet up, we regroup, and then uh, I get my health and uh, ammo from him. Also, your buddy will always spawn on you and you will spawn on, spawn on him, vice versa. And uh, one of the good features is when you work together, you get bonus points. You know, same if fire team buddy gets down, and I kill that person. Well, he's gonna automatically respawn on me because I killed his nemesis, and I'll also get bonus points for that. And it really adjusts to your style of play. If it's you and your buddy, and let's say you both want to tank it out, you can, and there's not a problem with that because it's just the two of you talking to each other and pushing forward, and you, you know, using the tactics you want to use. You know, if you want to be point men, both of you, and just speed run through, and uh, you know, outflank the enemy, you can. Make sure you guys stay competitive, play well together, and have fun. On Warfighter, we have an extensive weapon customization menu. This menu gives the player over 70 different unique presets that are built around Special Forces units around the world. Uh, these characteristics on these parts actually add different gameplay styles to the weapons themselves so that a player could tailor a weapon to his unique gameplay style. One of the reasons we were excited is because we actually had real world professionals come into our studio and show us what kind of guns they use, what kind of parts they put on, the, on their guns and how they paint them. One of the cool parts about it is that you can actually figure out how your add-on, you, how you want to customize your gun is actually affecting your performance in game. So once you've customized your gun and you go in game, you select that class and you're using that weapon, you can play around with it, you can run around the map and play in the, uh, play in the level. And if you don't, and if you feel something's off, you can actually go back and customize the weapon a little bit more, remove something, add something on, go back into the game and continue playing around with it. We want to make sure that uh, the user gets to see all those parts in all their glory. That's why every time we swap a particular part in a particular slot, going from muzzles all the way to the stock, we always make sure that the player changes their hand pose to make sure to look at the particular part at, as they're switching it. The weapon would kind of be an extension of himself. Or if you're the type of player that kind of just wants to get into the game now, we provide you with plenty of weapon presets that are click of a button away. In Medal of Honor Warfighter, we have six very unique classes that represent the different ways you can play our game. After I got a chance to play through all the classes, I uh, found my favorites right away. Ended up sticking with two classes most of the playtime. Um, the Assaulter class and the Spec Ops class were easily my favorite. And we were making sure we complemented each other. He was a sniper, I was the heavy gunner, so he would sit up in a window and watch C, and anytime there was a problem, I would leave his, leave his back and go down to C, and then uh, hopefully take care of business before uh, the enemy showed up. And he had Overwatch, so he would uh, cover me from above. We've also made sure that every country in the United Nations can show their national pride through our metagame, Warfighter Nations, powered by Battlelog. Battlelog connects you incredibly deep into the stats of your online play, but more than that, into your friends, your platoon, and your entire arsenal. Track your class tours, explore every weapon in the game, and fully customize your weapon using the My Gun tool. We've also extended the experience directly to your console. 
you'll now be able to pull up the battle log dashboard to see the latest on how you and your friends are progressing and what unlocks lie in store for you all in game. Thank you so much for taking part in this beta. Don't forget to pick up your copy of Metal of Honor Warfighter when we start our worldwide releases October 23rd. Have fun, happy fragging.